What's up guys? It's Rayon here and um as you can see right here we have another a uh, Blu-ray unboxing. Blu-ray DVD um and yeah, the one I'm not gonna share. So yeah, I was I've been getting a lot of stuff on Amazon. I mean I just, I just got like a few other items. So I already because I was trying to get some items and myself and so i might as well just thought that hey if i'm gonna get one thing i might as well get a few others that i probably won't see anywhere else for as good of a deal so i just thought of getting the super mario bros movie because i do like blu-rays and dvds and i didn't want to buy the whole thing so i got this for 12.99 um as soon as i got it i just saw the price lowered but hey i mean it was as low as i could have gotten and well I didn't want to research too much. Amazon usually has like brand new ones, and although I don't care, I mean, hey, free shipping, and if I get like a minimum amount, so I thought I'd do it. Probably not a good idea to mention it, but who cares? Yeah, and then you can see on the side it says the Super Mario Bros. movie. I can't believe it was six and a half months ago. I actually went to a regal cinemas theater and just watched it with my um best friend josh so yeah it's been a while since it was in theaters like for like i don't know one month or was it like one one month one and a half i don't know it, was, it had to be there for a while so um i decided to get this blu-ray high quality dvd let's look at the back first so the movie tells the story of two Brooklyn plumbers who are brothers and best friends. Mario, the brave one with a let's -a go, let's -a go attitude, and the perpetually anxious Luigi who would prefer to go nowhere. You open with the Super Mario Brothers reckoning with their struggling plumbing business and wind up in a whirlwind adventure through Mushroom Kingdom. Through their adventure, we meet a cast of familiar, lovable characters ultimately uniting together to defeat the power-hungry power hungry villain Bowser. This Mario Brothers movie takes what millions of gamers worldwide have loved for 35 years and levels it up to a new breathtaking cinematic experience. And I actually did have an amazing experience. Like, I didn't want to miss a single moment in that expensive movie. I did not. I just, like, I was planning on getting popcorn during the movie, and... Uh, refill because I got a large popcorn so I really just I, I did not feel like missing a single moment in the movie but like during while watching in theaters it was uh, incredible with it. and then whatnot it was it was it was awesome I, I don't think I've ever been to a Regal Cinemas you know it's been a long time but yeah just watching it in there some high quality nice seats yeah in the very front row me and him and the like very front very front left and yeah nobody else around us it was pretty empty so it was a good time to watch then uh, when I, in a nice warm weather outside yeah so that um got got 1080 pixels high definition widescreen not the 16 by 9 I'll, to, I'll, I'll check what else there is, but I decided to get this instead of the digital version as well because, I mean, for another reason, because I always like these bonus features that these have. Sure, you can watch them on YouTube, but, you know, when you're really a memorable, feel mem more memorable just using these because uh, resources were limited, even in time, you just wanted to you know, watch it anytime you wanted to. That's a big deal, like, since it wasn't as common. Um, yeah, um, these DVDs actually do come in handy, so, getting to know the cast, leveling up, making the Super Mario Bros. movie, Super Mario Bros. movie, Field Guide, the Peaches lyric video, leadership lessons, uh, from Andrew Taylor Joy, don't know who she is, but, I do remember Chris Pratt voicing Mario, not Charles Martinet, but this is the last time he did show up, like, did voice something in the movie, and nothing ever again. So, um, yeah, Power Up Edition. Hopefully that meant uh, bonus features, because that's why I get these. 
Yeah, and we also had whoever voices Bowser, Jack Black. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to mention, but I want to move on and open this thing up. See what's in here. I mean, we know what's in there. But yeah, I have not opened this up in a long time, so. Uh, yeah, um. Okay, it's it's opening up. It's close. I can feel something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's always hard with one hand, so. Sorry if this annoys you guys. But yeah, this is a keeper right here. And I don't know how often I'm going to watch this, but it's only going to be a good and fun the first time. And after that, it's not going to really matter. Like most things you watch. Just like this time. But yeah, special features on here. And this is what also came with most in several DVDs. So you have this plastic here, thin plastic. Feels like you're biting on nothing. Without further ado, we give you this. Super Mario Bros. movie, wow. I think this is the, yeah, this is the DVD. Uh, I'm glad they have this. Doesn't really cost much. And the Super Mario Bros. movie, very PG. Oh, yeah, and uh, anamorphic widescreen and regular widescreen. I think they got the same aspect ratio, though. So, I'm not sure what else, but this is more reflective right here. I don't know if there's anything else. Is there anything else? I wonder. We shall take a look. You can feel the smooth edges right here. Nice, nice, nice reflectiveness. Don't want to get scratched. And I don't haven't been have. Okay, this is not a smooth, but yeah, they haven't been scratched. This is less reflective. This is like much more reflective, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all we have. There's, like, no manual. But, hey, I mean, if I can watch it on a Blu-ray system or DVD system anywhere else in the house, I might as well. Speaking of that, um, I want to I want to wonder how, what the experience would be like watching it on a CRT TV instead of, like, HD widescreen TV. I wonder how that would go, because most people have watched it in the cinema, and then they haven't really cared. Most people don't even use a wide, like this CRT, standard definition DVD or TV. Yeah. But then I'd have to use a regular DVD player if I don't want to use an adapter, like an AV to HDMI. Or I'll have to just use like one that only uses. Yeah, but I think I only have two DVD players. One is like Blu ray and DVD, the other one, and CD, I think. And then other one I don't think has worked, another one that I used and had in my basement for several years, which only didn't, which stopped, like, working for DVDs and only used audio CDs, I, that one just, even if I connected or anything, it just doesn't work anymore, it was a cyber home, and that one didn't go too well, but, oh wow, there's, is there more? Is this more? Yeah, but I'm surprised that it's like that. Okay, anyways. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, yeah. There's definitely more plastic. Okay, but... Okay, a power-up edition. I would need to get, like, a code or something, I guess. I don't know. I have to download this this app or on my computer or phone or smartphone or tablet. I, th I believe I would, but until then, I'm fine with using the the blu-ray and dvd because i'll probably only watch it for a few scenes and nothing else but look at that the dark world right here and then we have like bowser's volcanic castle and his minions are those par paracoopas paratroopas we have donkey kong mario luigi peach of course bowser and then we have toad right here 
all their voices are so weird. Like, probably because of, uh, we're used to the normal one. So they have Mario Kart right here, and then we have, I oh mean, just, just the feelings they get from remembering when I watch this movie. Oh man, I have to watch it again in some way. Don't make me feel alive. Probably by myself again, whenever I have time or motivation. Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom right here. With that, take a look. Super Mario Bros. The Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. movie. Blu-ray plus DVD. And we have the bonus features. We're on the Rainbow Road. And, yeah. Um, too bad there's no Yoshi. Yoshi, Yoshi would have been a great feature in this game. Like, in this movie. Maybe Wario and Waluigi could have too. But they didn't bring them for some reason. I'm, kind of, I'm really disappointed. But... Well, this is the Super Mario Bros. movie, and this is back when um, Yoshi wasn't a character, and Wario was not a character, and Waluigi definitely was not a character. So if you count it as, as like, a Super Mario Bros., um, yeah, it's not Super Mario World, it's Super Mario Bros., so during that time period, I guess, if they were to bring, to show it like it was early 90s, or, well, like, or like 80s at all, late 80s, all, these are all the characters at the moment, because Donkey Kong had his own game, and yeah, no, no, no Yoshi, no Wario, no Waluigi, just Mario, Luigi, Peach, Donkey Kong, and Bowser, and maybe Pauline, if because apparently she was in like a pixelated character, or the princess in Donkey Kong, is that hard Donkey Kong game. In Donkey Kong's house. I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. Um, you guys saw enough. Thanks for watching. So remind to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of this, and share my channel with whoever else you know who likes Nintendo games. If they like my, what they like to see, have them subscribe to me as well. I live stream a lot, or I haven't been lately, but um, yeah, busy or not as much like time that I want to put in. Or, Hey, I mean, so you gotta focus on what, like, on things that aren't as important, on on things that you think are, think you'll need more time for in case you plan on doing them or you do them. College, running, other struggles and thoughts. Okay, anyway, yeah, yeah, just hit, just so you guys know, I mean, that is true, but I'm here for this for this. DVD and Blu-ray, so uh, I hope to use my experiences that I wanted to mention, and just have a fun time. Bye-bye.